Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Toyota Prius, you're gonna need to get a tow harness installed on the vehicle. Today we're gonna go ahead and break that installation down for you. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. So the Toyota Prius tow harness has four attachment points. One behind each tail light, a ground attachment point, and a battery attachment point, all which are gonna be located in the rear cargo area. So we're gonna go ahead and start by removing the carpet and flooring out so we can expose our tail light connectors and the battery. Okay, we got our carpet out. Now we'll remove the center flooring. Um, this is held by two push pin, push pin fasteners. We'll just take a flathead screwdriver, pry out the center portion and just pull straight up. It comes right out. Do the same thing on the passenger side. Pretty simple. Okay, we're gonna take the center portion of the flooring and just lift straight up. We'll put it aside here. Now I'm gonna take out the driver's side cargo area. I'm just gonna take the lid off, set that aside. And this just pulls straight up, so. You can see it's got a little clip here, just comes right up. And we'll set that aside here. Now we'll move over to the passenger side, do the same thing. This guy just pulls straight up. It slides out, set that aside. And now we're gonna take the center cargo area out. And it just pulls straight up. There are gonna be some clips that are attached to the body here. So we can either take a pry tool or just get your fingers wedged in here and just pull up. It comes right out. That simple. I'm gonna go ahead and set this back here. Now to get behind the tail lights, we need to remove this passenger side and driver side paneling out. To do that, we have two cargo strap anchors, one here and one just above it, right here. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver to take the top one out and a 10 millimeter socket to take the bottom one out. Okay, we'll set that fastener aside. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and take our 10 millimeter socket and remove the lower strap anchor. Okay, I've got two doors here that I'm gonna remove. This is your uh, tail light accessory door and your battery accessory door. You don't have to take them out, but just to keep things organized here, I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. And... Now that we have our anchor straps removed, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull on our paneling here. There's a couple of fasteners back here, it just pulls right out. And now we need to locate our connector for the tow harness. And it looks like this is gonna be it right here. To get it out of position, it's on a body clip. So I'm just gonna to slide to the front of the vehicle, it comes right out. And to disengage the connector, there's a little button right here. You just press that button and pull straight out and it comes right out. And that's where we'll be connecting to on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and take care of the driver's side now. Okay, now we're gonna prep the driver's side here. And just like the passenger side, we're gonna take the top cargo strap anchor out. Now we'll take our 10 millimeter socket, take the lower anchor out. Set that aside here. And just like the passenger side, we're gonna just pull out right out okay we've located our driver's side tail light connector and again we're just gonna pull it out of its body clip there just give us more room just like the passenger side there's a button here we're just gonna press that button separate the connector and that's where our tow harness is gonna go right in there just like a T connector we'll start with the driver's side which is gonna be the yellow and brown wire. Find our mating ends here. Clip it in. Get that click. Now we can go ahead and remount a wiring harness. Slides right in, just like that. tuck our wiring down here. We're gonna line up our body clips. Now we can go ahead and just put the paneling right back in. 
Once you have them all lined up, you just tap on it and they all snap back into place. Okay, now we're gonna route our passenger side connector and we're gonna route it over to the passenger side tail light. And we'll remount our fastener. Again, it just slides right in. Oh, we'll go ahead and tuck our other connector back in here. Wang. And that's it for the tail light portion. We can go ahead and line up our body fasteners here. Body plugs and just tap it in. Okay, next step is going to be to ground the white wire. I'm going to use this battery bracket here using a 10 millimeter socket to remove the bolt. Okay, now we're gonna take our ground ring terminal, slide it right into the bolt here for the battery bracket, put it back into place. Okay, our last step is going to be to power the converter box. We're gonna take our ring terminal for the inline fuse and attach it to the positive side of the battery. Take a 12 millimeter socket. And I'll just take the ring terminal, go right over the nut. And bolt, put the nut back on. Last step, I'm gonna take a provided 10 amp fuse, put it in the fuse holder, plug it in, put the protective cover over the top, and now our four flat is powered. So we just need to find a good place to tuck the slack. It's all gonna be sitting right underneath the cargo, cargo area here. I'm gonna set it right in next to the battery. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take our four flat and lay it out so that we can put our cargo flooring back in. Okay, we're gonna take our center cargo portion, put that in first. Gonna take our four flat and make sure it's routed correctly through our little slot here on the passenger side. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop the four flat back into the center cargo portion. Now I'm gonna line up the body connectors. You can see right here, they just go right in. And we're just gonna tap, it locks right into place. Okay, we're gonna take our battery accessory door, put that back into place, it's right in. Our tail light accessory door. Okay, then our passenger side cargo flooring. Put the lid right back on it. Now we can go over to the driver's side. Okay, now we're gonna put our cargo anchor straps back into place. I'll start with the top one with a Phillips screwdriver. I'll go down to the bottom one. Get that snug uh, figure tight there. And this will be our 10 millimeter socket. Okay, on our passenger side, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, now we're going to take our center flooring. Line it up. And then, okay, we're going to take our push pin fasteners, put the base in first, and then push the center portion down. That locks it in. Do the same thing over here on the driver's side. Put the base in, push the center portion down. When you want to use the tow harness, you're going to open up your rear door here. This is where your harness will be stored. When, when you're ready to plug it into a trailer, we're gonna just pull it straight out. 
And let's go ahead and focus on where the door will be closing on. It will just go right into the door seal, will not damage the wiring at all. And you can see that there is no damage or pinching or smashing of the wiring. Okay, and that's it for our Toyota Prius tow harness install. Thank you for watching. Have fun, be safe. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com. Oh, 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 oh,